Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to attempt to fix some dead keys on my Adderall PCR30 mini keyboard. If you watched my previous video, I circumvent this kid's uh, toy guitar into this little synthesizer. Uh, this was for the 2014 Moog Circuit Bending Challenge. Um, I took third place in that challenge, which I was extremely happy about, and I got this Moog Minotaur Analog Bass Synthesizer. Um, unfortunately, when I got home and hooked it up to my MIDI keyboard, I found that some of my keys no longer work. So, I'm going to take it apart and see what I could figure out. Okay, I found out you actually only need to take the outer screws out. The inner ones hold the key assembly in. So, and then also, you do not actually have to pull the knobs off at all. Pull the lid off. That can just fold back like that. And there we go. Now we got to go in and remove each key. Pull the spring off. Pull the key off. I'm going to lay them all in order here. I'll just work my way down. kind of interlock from with one and another so you can't pull looks like you can't pull a black key out before the other keys so I'm just gonna work my way all the way down okay so I got all the keys removed and basically how the keys work is that when you push that down it's pushing this little rubber piece down and making a little contact electrical contact in there and I believe those little contacts are getting dirty or wearing out. So I'm going to pull off these rubber. Let's start over here. This rubber boot, gently pull out of the holes. There's little holes that hold them down. And basically those are the contacts that we're having problems with. So I'm going to pull that whole strip out. And then another strip there and the third strip to there so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that so that's what it looks like when you pull that first strip out those posts are stuck in those holes there and these little pads touching those little circles is what makes the contact so just make sure to get them all laid back how they go so I'm gonna lay that, that one right there and I'm going to continue pulling these out. Okay, now that I have all the pads out, I'm just going to go through and just uh, with a pencil, I'm going to basically just color in the pads. Since graphite is conductive, hopefully this will just add a layer of conductivity back onto those pads and make them contact a little bit better. So obviously this is kind of tedious, so I'll just continue down. Basically every pad just filling it in with graphite. Alright, so now that I've went through and filled them all in with the pencil, I'm just going to quickly put in one of the rubber strips and testing them as I go. That one still might need a little bit more graphite in there. Uh, I also found that previously I was blowing the ex excess off. Um, I found that I actually need to leave that little buildup of powder in each in each button cavity there. And then once I reattach the button, it's a little difficult here. Once you reattach the button, you kind of wiggle that around to get that graphite in on the underside of the of the rubber and as you can hear it's starting to work again once I get it all pushed in it'll probably work better but uh, basically you just gotta add a little bit extra and kind of leave it piled up in there on that contact and then as you can see there it's all inside of there and once you get it pushed back in Kind of rub it around in there so it gets on both sides of the rubber 
and it seems like it's starting to work again. All right, as I'm going, I'm going through and using the key to test each one uh, because I found sometimes your finger won't actually make the contact, but if you actually put the key on, it's a little more reliable. So I'm just testing with each key. As I'm going, I'm making a mark to so I know which ones work. Last one doesn't work, so it looks like I'll have to pull that back off and add a little bit more in there. And again, I'm just leaving that excess in there, kind of making just a little pile, just. Getting the boot back on. It's tedious work, but basically have to do this for every one that is not working. And then I kind of rub the boot around in a circle. Try to spread that graphite around in there to make both contacts. And there we go. That one started working again. Let's test it again with the key. And there we go. That one's working. And basically just do that to every single one, which mine turned out to be every pad, so I'm just re-graphiting every single one. So another thing I should mention is when you're filling in the graphite, uh, fill side to side and don't cross the little gap. Um, if you do, you can actually just erase it pretty easily. I've done it already. The note will stick on and then you can just use the corner of your eraser and uh, erase the, the little line there. Um, so just want to fill on each side of each gap. Okay, so now I've went through and I've tested to confirm they're all, they're all working now. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this uh, keys back on. I still have them in order. Place the front end there. And then I'm going to reattach the springs. I'll just continue that process down the whole line. So when you're putting it back together, remember that the black keys go somewhat under the white keys, so you kind of have to place the black key first and then the white key, or you won't, you won't be able to get that, that one in there. Now that I have all the keys placed, I'll just continue placing all the springs, the silver springs with the white keys, and the little copper colored springs with the black keys. Okay, I'm finishing putting the springs up. On the last few keys, uh, I found the best technique is to hold it with the needle nose pliers, hook it under the bottom here, push, push the key down, and there you go. Okay, got everything, all the keys back and everything seems to, be, seems to be working. Now just time to close up the lid, uh, put the screws on and finish and putting the knobs back on. Okay, I got everything buttoned back up and put together and tested and it seems like every key is working now. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not really sure how long of a fix this will be since it is just the graphite from a pencil inside of each one of those little rubber cups um, but it seems to be working now and it was a cheap and simple fix and these are pretty much the only tools you need to do it a pencil and a screwdriver and uh, this was for a Ederol PCR 30 MIDI keyboard um, but 
I believe other keyboards out there use the same type of contacts and it might work for that also. Um, okay, thanks for watching.